Hey everybody, I'm Raz with the Rad Play, and this is how to hook up an Atari 2600 to a 4K TV. Now, I don't know if you've tried this before, I picked up an Atari 2600 about a year and a half ago. So I decided I was going to get this thing, I was going to bring it home, hook it up to the TV. Awesome. One small problem. That. That right there would be a single black RCA wire. Now, if you remember back in the day, if you're old enough to remember the old cable box type thing where you'd plug this into the little converter box that had two little UHF prongs, you'd hook them into the back of the TV, and then you play your Atari. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but these new TVs, even the 1080p ones, obviously don't have that. Not only that, but when you get to 4K, well, the resolution out of this is so low, it's not even red on this. Now, to be honest, even like a Nintendo or a Super Nintendo, you need what's called... This little upscaler right here. This is an S-cart adapter type deal. So what you do is basically you take the red and the yellow and the white. Or if it's the original Nintendo, these two right here, if you get the second edition one. You hook them into there, okay? It goes into this right here, converts the video. Then it goes right here, which is an HDMI wire, which apparently is not hooked up properly. There we go. And with that, that'll go to the TV and that upscales everything to 1080p so it can read it. Not 4K, but at least 1080p. But, this Atari here, yeah, this guy, yeah, I've tried to have adapters and hookups, and it just, it's so low for its resolution, it won't even hook up to the TV at all. So after about six months going through, trying to figure out how to do it, I finally came up with a solution. And I'll show you what it is. First off, I keep showing this right here. Oh, by the way, that would be a Sega Genesis controller. If you're wondering why it's hooked up, because that works on that. Yes, that's right. That... It's the same hookup as an Atari controller, so yes, it does work. Now this, right here, okay, see that? See this lovely little adapter? That is an RCA, if I can tilt it right, an RCA female to coaxial male, okay? And I'll show you what this is going to do. This is your regular old VCR, set on channel 3. This is very important. By the way, before we do anything else, that's on channel 3. That... If you can see it, there, one of them, that one right there, yeah, okay, that right there, it says channel 2 or 3, you can't really see it, but yeah, make sure it's on channel 3, because I don't want to have to deal with any weird responses as to why it won't work because of that. So, this goes in, see it right there? There you go. That's your, you know, cable in, or whatever you want to call it. It's cable in. This is your RCA, your single RCA wire. It goes like so. See? So now, we're hooked up to the VCR. Cool? Cool. Then what you do, now you have your out to TV. That would be these three right here, right? So the VCR is either 240 or 4. I think it's 480p. Yeah, I read conflicting reports. We'll go with 480, 480. So with the Atari coming over here and going into here, and with these coming out, so now it's reading at 480p. From what I can gather, I mean, I'm not a Technician by any means, but this is it's got to be something like this Somehow it, there's an upscaling going on somewhere. So you the red the white and the yellow and it goes up To the upscaler there's also a little s video thing here that I tried with the Atari didn't I had an adapter It didn't work. This is how I knew that the video resolution was too low So it hooks into there it goes to here that goes to the TV Whew, There we go, and if you'll look We have Defender. And yes, like I said, if you hit the reset, ready? There we go, see? She works. Just like I said it would. Also you can do, can you do? Oh, the color on black and white doesn't work, I tried. All right, so there you go. That is how to hook up an Atari to a 4K TV. So next time somebody tells you that you can't do it, well, we just did. And all it takes is a little adapter that you can get, like, you know, see Home Depot if you find the right one. Couple wires. This thing right here, honestly, I mean, if you're going to have the old video game systems, you need one of these anyway. So it'll future proof so you can keep playing it. A little VCR on Channel 3, your Atari on Channel 3, and if you want, hey, a Sega Genesis controller. And therefore, you can still play it. So if anybody asks you, this is how it's done. All right, have a good one.